GTW, I read almost all the books on these shelves, so I am very smart. Possibly as smart as these books say I am. They don't even include me anyway. Let's get this book started. This video started. <laughs> Today we'll be discussing all I want a review like the old days when we were talking about Charlie and Lola, Peppa Pig, all those days. Yeah, it was nice. At least it was for a while. So we'll be going back to those old days and we'll be started kickstarting a new series again with the very first book that I'll be talking about. All I want that I already discussed the summary of. And let's start the review. Beep, 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 now, here is kind of, we already talked about the plot, so you could just go watch that video if you want to. If, if for some reason you can't, there actually is no reason why you can't if you're able to watch this video. Maybe there are network issues. Well, too bad, too sad, as my teacher says. Yeah, he does say that. And now let's start talking all about it. If you remember from the plot, you might remember that Alex is 30 years old and that she wants her boss and eventually finds out that... Well, it turns out that Brad's not who she wants. The boss is not who she wants and all that. Well, it turns out that the meaning behind it, this could probably be a lot more than just trying to improve your English. Also, I guess that's one of the reasons why this book series is written. Or else, why not? Second of all, and this, another thing I shall mention about the meaning behind it is, I guess, the romance novels. I mean, Roman and Juliet, for some reason, had a little meaning behind it. I wonder why, because it's a knockoff of an original work. Another thing I shall say about this, this is definitely an original work. I'm just going to say that, uh, but it's not really that exciting. And if you deep dive deep into this, there's actually no meaning towards it, except that how you write kind of cares about it. You have to look at your audience if you're writing a book, and like if you want to write to children, if you write it to informal, like, it sounds boring. I don't want to read it. It's too formal. Blah, 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 blah is all I read. Bye-bye, book. I'll see you in the dumpster. And another thing I shall kind of say that this thing gives you advice to is that the... Well, it kind of helps you discover what you really, really want. I mean, if your boss is not who you want, then who else do you want? If one person is not who you want, then who do you actually want? That's probably not really going to be relevant here. One more thing I shall mention more is that, before I go into why you should read this, is that Alex, like millions of other people out there, actually discover who they really want. This is usually, I mean, like if you watch Gravity Falls then you'll know what boy crazy phase means, but if you didn't, boy crazy phase means, well, be crazy for boys. And this only works for girls, for some reason. And that's how you conclude with the book, All I Want. Now let's go on to why you should read this book. Now, why should you read this book? And, and if you are a beginner to English, then and you're pretty good at English, but just not that good at all, like not as good as normal people would be, then I guess this book is right for you. You can use this to learn how to do things. And you're like, what does this mean? It has incorrect grammar. Well, that probably means that you have incorrect grammar. Uh, no offense, people. No offense. No offense. Another thing I should also sh mention is that this book should be read not just to learn English, also that is the purpose of the series, according to Cambridge themselves. Another reason is probably to find out more about how people work. Sure, people might work like this, maybe not being old, fat, and all that other things that Alice describes herself. Also, I will agree, she is a bit old. For this. Another thing I shall mention is that this could be useful for a little bit of advice. Oh, no, you do not need a earth name, obviously, but you kind of need advice if you want these romance situations. And if you do have these situations, don't actually expect this, selves. Don't expect that you wish something and it actually comes true. Because it usually never does. That's not how romance works in real life. That only really works on the films and movies. And the books, and the comics, and all that other stuff, which makes it actually pretty real. And this is why you should read the book, to actually learn first and what not to do. Because this is the most accurate version of romance that you could probably ever find out if you do have a boy crazy boyfriend, that is. Next up, I shall say, is a conclusion of everything else. Now, 
Basically, there's this woman named Alex who's 30 years old at the beginning of the book. At least she turned 30 years old. No extra days, no extra months, no extra weeks. Just plain old 30 years old who goes up and tries to find out if she can get her boss to live, like and love. Do that smoochy, scoodly pooping as John Green likes to say stuff. Another thing I shall also say in the conclusion is that you should read this because... It not only helps you improve your English if you're at, if not at this level yet, if you're below this level, it also helps you what to do. You shouldn't wish something to happen and then expect it to happen. You should actually go ahead and try to achieve the goals yourself. Also, don't try to wish them. That usually never works. It only happens in, for lucky instance people. And... The only meaning behind it I can see is that love isn't beauty, it's for the inside. Lo you don't love someone just because of beauty. If you find what that person has inside, then you kind of realize that they're not that good. Usually beautiful people are more full of themselves, but usually like less beautiful people, like still beautiful in your eyes, but not that beautiful. Or Usually those people are just right for you. So that's the end of my conclusion, all I want, and that ends the two-part series for this. So I'll see you guys in my next book. I won't tell you guys which one is next, and I'll see you guys then. Now and out, peace. This video is dedicated to mom and my parents, which is mom, my dad, and my cat. Bye-bye. Love you guys so much.